minutes this time. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Hi, I'm Max, and welcome to Faith the Unholy Trinity. I, this is like my favoriteest game ever. It came out... I did play the first chapter of Faith. There's net The third one came out with this game. Um, and now I'm going to play. I will do the first chapter again, but I'm not going to like get all the endings and such. Just because I want this to be... Uh, the, the whole thing. Anyway, uh, begin... Chapter 1, New Game. Also, I tried recording this, and real got, got far in, and this is the most soul-crushing thing you can do, is not press record. It is not start the recording. That is the worst thing you can do. Have you forgotten already, this forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good, good place to start. Yeah, because this... Gives you, like, a map. Because this chapter is really small compared to the other two. Anyway. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to go for all the good endings in each chapter. Ah! Uh, he didn't come that early when I first tried uh, playing. Uh, I'm not going to try and find all the notes! I'll get some of the notes, but only the ones that I, like, come across. You're invited to come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snick Middle Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay, well, I remember there's a shed. Please stop, holy crap. Okay, note. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Middle Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. He is just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until he, we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained. Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Okay. Go in. Okay. <laughs> I go unwillingly. <laughs> okay. Uh, where am I going? You know, I don't want to do that. Note's long and not really important. I don't want to get that one. Oh, purple demon. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. 
It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. <laughs> the only reason I'm reading these so smoothly is because I read literally just read them. <laughs> oh, that's a, why do you look like that? Fridge sticky no fridge drawing. What? Nate. Okay. Down stairs. This note's also long and not very important. I don't want to get that one. Ooh, this one is. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the riot for long. Mrs. Martin it was hysterical and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of that fear, off of the fear. Father already asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, dear. Is that the chair? Oh, no. No! Ah! Don't kill me, Amy! She is... She is, Captain Obvious. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon during our conversation. She uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help but fr from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Okay. I didn't get this note. What is this note again? Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll from Amy for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could it'd be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Oh! Oh, oh gosh! The flip! <laughs> I forgot what I was doing! Right, you have to do that like six times or something. Um, I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what that's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why she just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to talk to her to... I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day and now I can't seem to find it my car keys. Thank heavens Bob comes home tomorrow. Yeah. For sure. Back! Get away from me, demon! Actually, what's in this? Ooh, toys. Ah! That was scary. I didn't like that music rise. Cool. Toys. Hello. Okay. Boop. You bleed? Is that what you said? Back fridge demon! There we go.
Is my microphone close enough? Probably. Up. Ooh. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, blank, my superior, blank, father, blank, with blank, when I, connect, blank, when I confronted her, she, blank, blank, managed to cut the power to the house, and blank, blank, her own parents, blank, with their own, blank. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her if I don't come back. Know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that happened! <laughs> my god, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Oh. Boss fight time! Oh yeah! Let's take this sucker down. Oh dear. Please finish, please finish, please finish, please finish. Back up! Yes! Okay. Hey bag face, don't put bags over your faces kids, you'll die. She doesn't even have a face to put a bag over. Never mind. She can, because she doesn't have a face. I don't know why I repeated what I just said. That was dumb. Oh, boy. Ah! Yeah, get her! Was it this one? Oh, dear! No! Ah, I screwed that up! Big time. Nope! Yeah. You'll never take me alive, oh gosh. No. Mm, no. Oh gosh, no. Okay. Ah! Hand demon. Oh my gosh. Take her down! Eat my cross! Okay, I can do it for me. Oh dear, I almost died. No, get closer, don't waste precious seconds! Oh gosh. Get close- GET CLOSE ENOUGH! Dang it! Oh, I just wasted so much time doing that. Okay. No! Gosh, dang it! Mortis! I didn't even die the first time I beat her. When I forgot I wasn't recording, I didn't die once. Gosh, dang it! There's our first Mortis. Oh, come on! Now I'm just now I just look foolish. Ah! Die, demon! Demon from heck! Get! Get, die! You nasty! Dodge! And take her down! Oh gosh! I messed up that badly! Because usually if you do play your cards right... If you don't suck like I do, then she, um, you'll usually get her by that point. Okay, there. <laughs> yes, the hand retract back into face. That would be pretty useful, actually, if you could just, like, have a hand come out of your face whenever and just hold stuff. That'd be pretty useful. Bye, Amy. Love you. I don't know. I hate it when that happens. You say love you to someone when you, what, like, you say bye to someone and then you say love you and they're like, what? You don't know them that well. 
Relic. I'm sorry, you want me to lick what? Anyway, I'm gonna do this boss. Because this one's cool. And it has important backstory stuff, so. One bullet. I'm pretty sure this guy's not actually a priest. Because I saw somewhere, like, I think he's just pretending to be one or something. Because he got married at some point. Oh no, maybe this happened and then he got married. He got... Oh gosh, I forgot what I was doing! <laughs> that scared me! <laughs> oh, I don't like the music. Ah! Ah! Piss off, ghost! Please! Oh, yay. Thanks for the space, dude. Eh! Whoa, nice. Love the space you're giving me to work with, bro. Uh, could you... Can you back up a little... What is that, a mole face? Why do I get the feeling that's like a mole or something when I see it? I don't know. October 23rd, 1986. Dear Dr. McGlashan, I'm just gonna say McGlashan. It might be McGlashan. No, it's not McGlashan. It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal, who has been so patient with me, has helped me to understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I have come to accept that what really happened in September at the Martin family residence, I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her de dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I am I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident, given in my progress since first coming here. I respectfully I respectfully request my full my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinal in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. You see that children is what we call lying. I need the gun. I almost just left without it. That would have been stupid. Anyway, you may some of you may know that I already did a video on this chapter. That's why I'm not going to be doing all the endings and like finding all the notes. I don't even know if I found all the notes in the first video I did, but in that video I just did chapter one and like did all the chapters and stuff and all the chapters. All the got all the endings. Sorry. All the endings are basically just deciding what to shoot during this segment, basically. Like, everything else doesn't really matter what you do. Just, you decide what to shoot. You can shoot Amy. There's a squirrel you can shoot. You can shoot this random guy. I mean, I say random guy. I know who he is now, but... And then you can shoot this guy! Aha! Get ran over by the Airdorf truck, sucker. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing.
Oh yeah. Ending 5 of 5, when faith endures. If the ending is like yellow, that means it's the good ending. The best ending. Police animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. Yesterday. Hey. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they com commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Yay! Now for chapter two! Which I haven't played on this channel yet! Yay! New game, prologue? I'm gonna go with the prologue, yeah. Because why not? Alright, chapter two. Um, so the prologue has like a score, basically you just have to like undo everything. Hello, truck. What the heck? Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. I don't like that. Why is my car on fire? What happened? Wait, what? Oh, that guy's gone now. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna... Oh, uh, there he goes. Okay, um, that's terrifying. Don't like that. A scarecrow. You can do this, which is funny, but it doesn't do anything. Anyway, the only way to progress is you have to go in here. Life is in weed? What? Hello, demon. Reap what you sow? Okay. Yeah, I know what I did. What did I do? Anyway, yeah, I think you only have to do that three times and then come back, and the scarecrow has no face. Which is scary. A dog? About a week ago, we started hearing those awful noises coming from the adjacent fields. After three nights, the children were getting pretty scared. I told them it was just coyotes. That third night, the noises seemed closer than ever. The dogs were panicking. I could hardly approach them. Then Greta, the last of the old line brought over by the German missionaries, broke loose and tore off into the corn. We all listened. To, sca to listen, too scared to go after her as her barks faded away into the distance. After that, we had two nights of silence besides the endless whispering of the wind blowing through the crops. But then, this morning, I stepped outside to see this fresh horror left at the edge of the field. There's something out there. Yeah, no duh. What are these? What more could I have done? I warned them not to go into the fields. I warned them against st straying too far from the sanctuary. Should I have shut them in, in their quarters and nailed boards over the doors? Now I'm 
digging six graves here in the shadow of the church. Six little graves forever looking to St. William. Some of the boxes are empty. The scattered remains we found couldn't fill them all. But I know they are all gone. I know their souls were taken by that thing in the field. I will finish my gruesome work and then renounce the ministry. I don't want to see anyone from the sanctuary ever again, not even that girl who stayed inside the house last night. I don't believe in the devil anymore. Whatever did this is much, much worse. Good gosh. Um. Okay. Into the church. My nose is itchy. Death awaits. Oh yeah, this is when they start putting those weird things creepy things when you enter buildings. We have a new volunteer to look after the children and take care of things around the sanctuary, Sister Belle. She came highly recommended by the main office in Hartford. Bring her in marks the completion of staffing, the church after all these years. The church has been very careful about letting what out what happened to those children as as far as I can tell, I'm the only one left who knows about it. Soon I'll be gone, and the sanctuary will be able to go back into service, having finally left those dark times, dark times behind. We've even received clearer hints to move in a new group of children. Three next week, and another three sometime next month. I'm sorry, are the graves for the... I, was the previous note referring to something that happened in the past, or what? Oh my! A boom! A boom! A boom! A boom! A boom! A boom! No! All right, I'm going to D-pad for that. I'm gonna use the D-pad for this one. The blood cup. Oh. Alright, let's go, demon! Oh, I hate that. Sister Belle seems like a naturally cheery person, but when the new children arrived, she became positively elated. She dolls over them constantly, takes them on walks, and tells them stories long into the night. I have seen her engaging in strange behavior. We don't teach the children much dancing or singing besides what is found in the hymns, but I've seen the children dancing around Sister Belle in a circle from time to time. While they dance, she stands still and looks up at the sky as if listening to something on another occasion. I found all six children standing in a line just outside the cornfield. They were all looking into the fields where Sister Belle was standing and talking to them. These odd games don't bother me too much since she's so good with the children, her cleaning is excellent too. As soon as she arrived, she seemed to just instantly know her way around. Oh! Instantly knew her way around, almost like she's been here before with other children! Thou shalt not... Not shall kill thou. Ah! I don't like that. Wait, can I crucify? No. They couldn't have given me a worse last case before retirement. Old Catholic church out in metal, in the middle of nowhere. One missing woman, four missing kids, and one deceased old nun. The brothers and sisters, or whatever the heck the people that work here call themselves, are all terrified and worse superstitious. All except Father Clark, who runs the place. Him and uh, uh, him and I drive along the farm roads at night looking for signs of the missing people, and he makes for pretty good company. There are two kids left. left. They say they were. Sorry. Say they were asleep the night the four went missing. They also claim... I'm sorry. Claim that the women, Mir woman Miriam Bell isn't actually gone. When I ask where she is, 
They look at each other, then back at me, and tell me to ask her myself. That's not terrifying at all. I'm going to go in these rooms first. What did I just say? Creepy. Okay. What is this supposed to be? Whatever. I see the trap door keeps closing. What was that? Oh, that was it? Okay. I know not what I do and bless you ch Oh, did I like fix that? Oh, the trap door is slightly open now. Okay. This morning we found these very odd objects around the church. The best way I can describe them would be large, life-size dolls made of sticks and dead tree branches. Someone must have placed them there while we were sleeping. Hoodlums, maybe, or a group of weirdos. The kids seemed fixated on these doll things. They stare out the window at them all the day. I even heard them shout that they saw Miriam standing around them. But when I looked, there was nobody there. Maybe it's the strange behavior of the kids or the hours of driving these farm roads at night, but this place is getting to me. I keep having the same nightmare where I'm standing outside the church looking out into the fields. I can see people looking back at me through the rows of corn. Their bodies are pointed, painted red. I hate that. Like these guys? Okay, now this is... Am I fixing you? Wow, you guys are pretty wimpy. If I can fix you that easily. I should have known this place was no good. The signs were all around me. The disappearance, the creepy twins, the life-size stick dolls. Four of them. Around two in the morning, we wake up to the sound of an old woman's cackle coming from the hallway out of s outside the kids' room. I know this sounds crazy, but th when we got to the hallway, the laughing was coming from a painting of the Virgin Mary. We thought we had lost our minds, just then we heard the chapel. We got there, or just in time to see Miriam drag the kids down the stairs leading to the basement. I drew my service weapon, but was stopped by Father Clark. He said something about God's work and headed down the stairs, sealing the opening to the stairs behind him. The stairs don't seem to open from this side. All I could do is wait. I can't describe the noises I heard down there, but one thing is certain, the devil is real. To anyone reading this, please, for the love of gosh, don't go down into the ba that basement. Sorry, I'm going in there, one way or another. Oh, hello, peoples. Uh, what in the, Amy? What are you doing in the painting? A cross. A uh, creepy lady. Angel. Wait, did I say creepy lady? That's just a... a yeah. My brain is frying already. It's late. Ah! Screw you! Don't do that! Darkness surrounds thee. Flashlight! Oh gosh, what are you? Too late. Oh gosh. I can't catch you? What? Yes! Hear your flavor? Or favor? What? <laughs> Good thing I have a terrible memory, because these so these jump scares actually get me. Here is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. He that is master of spirits. 
Let three spirits that follow the dragon be put into the effigy of the accursed. Only then can it be purified. You will know it. it is time when its eyes glow red. To enter the unseen world, destroy the purified effigy with fire. Then shall the door to hell be opened. This is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. Creepy. Purple guy! Or purple kid! That one seemed pretty small. Oh, those are the last two right- ah! Bay, chapter two. What I am about to do has not been approved by the magic kid. Score six hundred and sixty. Okay. Huh. Ooh, I'm gray now. Am I someone else? Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have al already been contacted by our office. A representative of the the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. I see I've got my Bible on the bed. Heck yeah. One day. Okay. Two weeks. Oh, no. This kid's messed up. Three months. That's... That, that can't be right. That's disgusting. Does vitamin D help with hair growth? This section is. Oh gosh! Yep, that's the dude. Oh gosh, the lights went out. Yes, I am playing it up for the camera. Oh gosh. Hello, Spider. -Pri you took the photo. Why did you take the photo? What could? What did you have against the photo? Hello. Oh gosh. Sorry. Sorry. Jason. <laughs> he dances out. Do 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 do. <laughs> it's two a.m. Oh yes, now I'm back to John Ward. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good way to remember what you don't realize you have forgotten. Notes. Other Garcia. Snow's missing. Oh! I have a crucifix? What the heck? What? I. Oh, shoot! Deer jumps. Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, sorry? That sucks. Um. Notice aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the inter interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery groups, oops, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Okay. 
What the heck? Thank you, Gates. Oh, that was them closing. I'm like, what the heck? I know this gravestone has a thing. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Interesting. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the saved family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Love, Gary! Enter the spirit house. Okay. Hi. Oh, hello there. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh. Okay. I guess I leave. Are these guys just corpses now? What? Well, in this way. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Mary Martin, 30, age 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, age 40. Devoted husband and wife and beloved parents, their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a a training advisor for the United States Navy, and Cindy was a CPA and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in Vol 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 Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Tillingast Funeral Home at, 11 at 10 a.m., Thursday burial service will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh. Okay. My nose is itchy. That moved. I don't like that. Oh my gosh. What the heck? In the world, what the actual heck? Vile nature. Vile nature? Okay. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street eat from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned toward me. Towards me, I followed her off the path into the woods. That, that's when I met Gary. Okay, something's up here with Mr. Gary. Hmm. Also, I like how everything's connected. Like there's little hints to everything. It really gives you a big picture of what's going on. Right. Up, left, up, up. Okay.
Okay. Right. Up. Left. Up. Okay. Oh gosh. Back. I'll see you again. Please don't. I've been freed. No more over. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by. Beings of pure darkness, I have been twisted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Interesting. Have a nice day. Or don't, because you're dead now, I think. Uh, another fetus thing! What is it with uh, fetus uh, demons? Where the heck are you? Okay. Yeah, you're awful. I hate you. Losing, gra losing grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's ho uh, house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't him. Actually, it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Well, okay then. Interesting. What is wrong with that? Hi. No! Oh! What the heck? Well, thanks for the key, but still, what the heck? Okay. Okay. Cool. Probably be checking these to see. <laughs> tree demon! That tree just got uh, got up and leave. Oh my. I, I know the, none of these trees are it. I don't know why that tree never comes back. Okay. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Confess thy sins. Okay. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Middle Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week! Heck yeah! I prefer root beer, but... On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children in into the cornfields and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. 
Apparently it has something to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when and you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. Okay, so I'm guessing I find a demon. The, the candles are the layout of the building? Yep. Cool. And then the other candle up here is where that demon is. Night 3 shouldn't have shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Oh gosh. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seats have you yet to confess? Mm. I try to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Cool. Ooh, secret room. I don't like that. That's weird. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's coming into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off of some of the these doors, but that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank heavens we bought, brought the nice mic microphone. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Cool. So one of the endings in this game is if you do like demonic, like three very specific demonic things, then you can unlock it. And when he says, bring me the child, it means, like, bring that kid who ran up into the cornfield, just... Boss, ah! Boss fight! No. Dang it. Come on! Spindly lady. Let's do this! Gotcha! Ha 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 ha! That opened that. Cool, I don't want to go there yet. Um, Got some things to look at. Oh. Yes. This thing. Night two. We're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before. Sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the Spindly Lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself. As soon as ours walked into the room, it was nuts. And we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this on, on selling this to the TV stations. Nice. Good for you. Also, why is the building different now? The layout's it's like reversed yeah it's all been rearranged that's terrifying completely oh oh no I know what that's a reference to I see watch the candle oh well, this was useless why'd I come in here <laughs> this is just referring to stuff I just did
Okay. Darkness surrounds thee. Again. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here, as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two. God's work be done, and I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God, he heaven help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. I'm scared. Ah! I still don't know what the heck this is. I know what the puzzle is, but this is dumb. I don't know what this means. Don't move past two. Okay. I know what the puzzle is, so I'm just gonna do it. Also, if you fail it, then if you like step mess up, then everything goes black, and you have to run over to a symbol on the very end. While this like weird, and once you get there, you see like depending on how long you took. This weird red, like, arm monster retreats back into the edge. Mother of demons. Okay. I am now outside. Okay. Okay. More deer. What in the world? Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Yeah, I found them. Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nagales. And my stupid and my sp my stupid and Troy Ingalls are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a pet agonistic ritual. Pandemonium regnet two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found in s found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents spotted a tomb had reported a tomb had been de desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not their these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the, the writing of certain symbols and blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the, la in, in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. Er, Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Oh, so technically ending one is the canon ending for chapter one? Oh, that's weird. Because ending one, that is what you get when you kill her, when you shoot her? That's weird. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nagalas, and Ingalls, because after all they were degenerate uh, devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what uh, you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? <laughs> They were, were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did it, the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies, and then you chipped off their heads because every chopped off their heads because everybody knows that. Removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. 
well, uh, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst put down, down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat. Good. Get it. Yet you see her not, I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnet satani, vitia, satani, vitia. Pandemonium regnet satani, vitia, pandemonium regnet satani, vitia, pandemonium My controller's vibrating, oh gosh, it's just repeating this over and over. Pandemonium. Six, 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 oh gosh! What am I reading? How long is this note? Is it like a scroll? I'm here, John. <laughs> ah! It's Amy and uh, cultists. I'm melting. No! Where? Okay, hi! If, hello, fellow human beings! Why is there rocks in an arrow? That's cool. Also, you can kill those people if you just don't go under the bridge. Death awaits. In the candy tunnel. What the heck is that? An eye. I was used to think that was a Jacksepticeye reference until I just now, actually. Because I grew a brain. Ale star. I thought that's an all star. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> Multiple officers wounded in one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police read the, raided the tunnels. Were suspected murder where suspected murderer Joe Bauman, aka the candy store killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. O officials are not saying if Bauman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Gosh, it's like an the remnants of an action scene here. Satan lives? Sure he does. I, there's a room over here I want to see. I look, baby. And a cross. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel known in the area to be a home to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indigen and indig again, am I stupid? Has been the site of several grisly discoverings discoveries over the past three months since May. Five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid it fears of a possible connection to Joe Bauman, aka the Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Okay. Well, moving on. I see that red, those red pixels. Hi, dude. Don't you seem pleasant? Is this a thing? No. I hate that. Read. Six, six, six. When you s 
Wait, what? When you see it, don't move. Illuminati confirmed. Mother, I'm not your mom. I, uh, first of five arms and more than one eye. Oh, gosh. Cool. When I was a boy, my nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monsters, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it, keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil, one sacrifice per year so that the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer, or what we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the d darn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into its lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid and the child prostitute runaways, they'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have... the it can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to gosh it never comes back. It gets tired of them. I was thinking of editing, like, censoring all the swears, but I don't think... Maybe the audible ones I'll censor, but with the no, I can't really see how I would do that. I'm just gonna go... So I'm just... Not gonna do that. Um. It's very quiet. I don't like it. Oh gosh, okay. I'm gonna go down. Oh gosh! I'm sorry, heaven, please save me. Okay. A flashlight. Okay. No! Ah! You! Not you again! Ah! Flip! Hi, kids! How are you? Oh gosh, where is it? Flip! Oh, hi! No! Oh gosh! Please don't! I don't like you! Find it. Yes! I missed what he said again. I hate you. You suck. Ah! Okay. I have something in my eye. Forgive me if I... I don't know if I already mentioned that, but... Um, yeah... Okay. Hey, don't go snitching on me. Don't go telling all your demon friends. You jerk. Oh gosh, what is I I thought that moved. Oh, I hate that. They hate the light. 
Okay. Oh, okay, it's this thing. That's fun. I'm gonna get you all in a, like, bundle, and then I'm just gonna get rid of all you at once. Ah, that shouldn't be there. And run away. Uh, key, please. They're not in here. I know that. Okay. Yeah, so, this is... Yeah, so you have to do some stuff to get that note. I hate you. I hate everything about you. And I'm out of here. Okay. Now I have the key for this door. Okay. Cool. I'm assuming you're Father Garcia. Well, I'm not this thing again. Oh, yay. Okay. Oh. I used the cross and it, and it instantly kicked me into a thing. Hi! Ah! Kill it! I'm gonna stay close to you. Get out of here! Back! Sick! Uh, it's turning weird! Back! Out of here! Out of here, turds! How much health does it have? Gosh dang it! Oh gosh! Ah! No! Mortis! Oh, okay, it saves. Good. Hi! Creepy! Oh gosh! Ah! Ah! Shoot! I'm actually scared! Gosh! Out of here! Turd! Back! Get away from me! Okay, next stage! Oh gosh! Look out! Oh gosh. Oh no. <gasps> Don't. Oh no!
Yes! And I've kept him alive! Oh gosh, that's uh, creepy. Notice that thing had an eye. That's what the eyeball meant earlier. The morning breaks. Wait, so was that all a dream? I don't like that. I think that was all real. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. Oh no, Molly's gone. Okay. So that's how you get the good ending. You just keep Father Garcia alive. So you may notice, like, sometimes it would wig out. I'm not going in there. Okay. And then, like, right at between phases, that's because I was holding the cross on her. It, basically, there's certain, like, a set phase where she will try and kill him. And I was just spamming on her so she couldn't even start it. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them and to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail. Malfas must be stopped. As the profane Sabbath draws closer, the workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith yet. God have mercy on my soul. Ending one. Go forth with faith! Heck yeah! Oh, that's it! Time for chapter three! Time for chapter three! New game. Show needles. Yes. I don't know what that actually does, but I think it's fine. Anyway. Gray trees? Is it winter time? September 21st, 1986. Oh, it's like a flashback? Cool. I don't know why I keep pretending I've never played this before. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Scary. Oh. Oh, I don't have a cross. I'm pressing A, nothing's happening. Hello. We do say so. Here we go. Ah! What? Hi! Oh, that's terrifying. I love how the music's like super dim, like muffled. Oh, yeah, she is tied up. So we're reliving what we read in the notes. That's awesome. Gosh dang, my eyes have been bugging all day. 
Oh, it was a memory dream. Cool. Also, I just failed something warm. Oh, I'm, my feet are above a fan. I, right as that happened, my feet. Three days until the profane Sabbath. Okay. Right under my feet. Uh, <laughs> the fan started blowing heat on my leg right as that happened. I'm like, ah! John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Mouth. I just read this. I'm in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do, do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia. Cool. I'm not going in there. Okay. John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that after that, what happened last year, they went to live with relatives. I will try to find out what I can. Meanwhile, go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. We must find the place where they intend to summon Malfess and disrupt up their plans. Vea con Dios, Padre Garcia. I'm going to explore my house real quick. I didn't do that last time. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you could try remembering what you know to be true. Press escape or the start button to review your notes. Interesting. Basement. There's nothing down here. Okay, cool. Leave, yes. <sighs> Is that Lee Rot? Leroy Leroy? Like Leroy James? Okay. The Airdorf truck you can get ran over by. <laughs> There's an achievement for getting ran over by it three in all three chapters. Bezel Fest 1987. 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Calling all metal fans, Bezel Fest 1987 rocks the heck out of Hartford. Friday night night, the event spell night, right? 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. featuring appearances by when all is said and done. Trust No Corpse, The Horror is Dead, Basement 2, Return to Bondage Among the Bloodied, Lying Still in Silence, Mother of Shadow, and The Door to Afterbirth. Advent, sale tickets, $3, at, at door, $5, okay. You'll watch. So this is a clinic. Cool. Facts. To Rhonda Eric Erickson from Gary Miller. Gary Miller. Gary. Facts. 08178502. Hi, Rhonda. Just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with their health care experience. Remember our sales points, sales points, clean, quick, courteous. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. Please do call me on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from Mrs. Miss Martin. What, one more thing, keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you, in fact. Who's Jeffrey? Also, this is a clinic, so didn't it's Amy used to work here? That's cool. I didn't realize that before till I read that first note that said she worked at the clinic. Note to self: Pills do not 
dissolve in IV drip well. Two week patients waking up before process is complete. Sooner or later, they will realize they are having the same hallucinations. Suggest concentrated injectable version. Okay. An ultrasound. Okay. It flipped over, I think. I don't understand what's happening to it. That doesn't look quite right. What is happening? To that thing. Um, this is. Why did you say that so weird? <laughs> Usually, when he speaks, it's much more clear than that. Much clearer. A crowbar. They sure did. Chair. Oh, there's a window there, I see. I'm like, why is it so pink? Why is it so illuminated? Okay. Ah! Oh gosh, it's dragging me! I'm dead! I'm so dead! I'm also passed out, apparently. I can move around in this, okay. Oh gosh, okay. Oh gosh, is that Jeffrey? <laughs> Oh gosh! Please don't hurt me! Now we need to sneak out. I'm not going to be able to go up those stairs in this thing. I need to hide. Yeah, yeah, I sure do. I think I'm sufficiently hidden. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's gone. I think I can leave. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to make it up the stairs, though, in this. Oh, phew! What the hell is going on here? You're coming with me, Preacher. Yep, um, yeah, please help. Um, I'll go, gladly. Did I just see it out the window? How did it get outside? I'm gone! I'm out of here! Okay. Oh gosh! It's Jeffrey! Oh gosh! Jeffrey's down. Gosh dang my eyes. Well don't you just have quite the potty mouth. I'll help you. Also those guys were dressed in red. I don't know. Oh gosh! Nope! I'm gone. Sorry about your car.
Uh, that's sad. I'm going back inside. Because there's something I need to do. Now that Jeffrey's gone. Get back on? Yes. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Now that I'm not running from my life from a, rolling from my life from my life from a demon, this is much funner. We Do I have to go in and out or just waddle around? Hmm. I don't know. How long do I have to do this for? What did that say? Join us. Oh. What the heck? What do I have to do? Do I have to go over here and like try and get in the door or something? Maybe. Gosh, go this way. Ah, uh, sorry about all the dead people. Join us. I don't want to. Sounds lame. Yeah, I'm not getting in there. Travel. Get down. Okay, I thought I was stuck. Like, no. How long do I have to do this for? Gosh dang! Was this a sufficient period of time? Do I have to- oh my gosh. Is it random? OH GOSH! Hi! Thingy. Um. Hi. I love how he's just standing there. What is happening? Ah! <laughs> yes. Oh, that's amazing. What is that sound? I don't like that. Hi! I eat short with boys. Dead, yes, and Martin. Have you seen them? So scary. Oh gosh! Okay. No, I don't. Die, please. Oh no, babies. How? Whoa, the heck? No, get off of her! What are you doing?
I can't do anything there. Okay, what is happening there? Oh gosh, nope. Group them up, group them up, and kill all of them. Oh no. Kill it. Come up. Take them all out. Die, demon babies. Oh no, not again. Nice, take all of them out. Nope, you're not. Don't. Yeah, I don't want any of you. Die! Nope! Oh gosh, okay. I hate you. Gosh, dang it. I need to stop focusing on them. there. Oh no. Hey, these guys slow you down. That's fine. Don't want you becoming a problem. No. Please die. Die faster. Yes! Oh no! It's just phase two! No! Oh no, I'm hurting it. Oh, okay. Good. Wow, that was, um, awful. Smooth moves, priest. But the twins are not here. Carry out the works of your, your god while it is yet day, for the night cometh. Remember, Gary loves you. Why, thank you. <laughs> Best. Okay. Am I done with this? <laughs> Yay! Leave, yes. So each section in this um, chapter has three... I mean, it has a bo secret boss in it, and if you... So I beat that secret boss. And got rid of part of that whatever that seal is, I have to do that with the next two places I'm at. Oh, gosh! <laughs> I don't have a cross. I'd help if I could. Okay. Ah, get the books! Oh gosh! Fantasma. Last one, I think. Oh no! Oh, 
Come on. Follow me. Don't worry about her. She'll be fine soon. <laughs> uh, everything's alright. No need to worry about her. I don't know what to tell you. I need to go at the big shot. Alright, so you have to go for AD. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Save her, okay. Upgrade! Priest level two! October 29th, 1987. Two days until the profane Sabbath. Okay. John, for now this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 665 Orange Street, apartment 5A, New Haven's in Connecticut 065 Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. John, there's some there's an apartment building in New Haven where the ABE attempting to summon Malfas. I'm not able to go there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. Vea con Dios, Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. Oh, but they're in, they are in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave. Lisa. I'm coming, Lisa! Assuming you're still alive. And not in Amy's situation. Alright. Among the Damned. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ward. I am sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have nothing. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the in the country, so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. No, I have good memory. I think it only says that because. I mean, it. I don't know. But the demo was this, this part of the game, so... Neighbor Lisa. You know, I'm just gonna explore the whole apartment instead of using the elevator. I'm just gonna start heading upward, see what happens. Um, this is terrifying. I'm gonna check this door, and if this is not it, I'm gonna go... Oh, no, nope, this one's open. Hey, 
Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven by passing them through the mm, carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the mm, with the second death, such as the fate of that girl Amy, my beloved Gary, has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. Okay. Oh. Cool knife. Um. Anyway. Um. I'm gonna... Actually, wait. I was gonna say I'm gonna go to floor three, but that's on my way, so... Never mind. Or maybe not. Oh, no, wait. There's a door. There is door. Oh, a key. Perfect. Five A. Okay. I'm just gonna skip straight to there because I'm not walking through all this. Are you Amy or Tiffany? You seem more pink. Well, bye. Um, I'm gonna go to floor five now. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate it so much. Scooch forward. Um, five. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Beware, if you have a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. Oh. Hey, Lisa! What the heck? Out of my way, seal! Or not. Oh, knife and vase. Okay. Also, key M. Okay. If you wish to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in the blood-stained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Okay. Seal of Alu. Alright, so I need to go to the top floor. Floor 10. Interesting. I. Sacrifice what you cling to. The heck? Oni. Give up the cross. No! What? What? Basement dumbwaiter. How to use. Pull up on handle to open hatch. Place item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on handle to close hatch. Press button to send dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Okay. Fine. So be it. So be it. That's right. There it goes! Uh, 
Okay, demon. Do not like. Elevator. Got it. What even are those things? Pig skins? People? Just regular dudes standing there? Never mind, floor four, I guess. Oh gosh. Ah! No! Gary lied to us. When you see it, run. I saw it. Oh no. Okay. Um, I assume I just keep heading this way. Go in there, got it. 3B, isn't this that room? The TV room? Yep, and a lot of crap. Okay. What? Don't walk up to those guys. Uh, I hate that. Oh gosh, why is there a dead green guy in the corner? Ah! Nope, keep moving. This way. Oh, okay, uh, in here. There was the knife. Hmm. Why am I gone? Oh, no! It's that, it's hand face thing. Oh, no! Mother. Run, it's mother, I'm not your mom! Ah. Uh, okay, um. Oh no. It's no good. Please stop. Okay, I think I escaped. Yeah, okay. Phew. What am I on floor two? I think so. Oh, I don't like being in the dark, like, not using it. Now I cling to this thing. Do I have to sacrifice this as well? Since I use it even more than the cross? I'm sorry, is the elevator broken? No. Probably can't go in it, though. I don't know why I keep making weird facial expressions. Doesn't make much sense. I think if you try going down here at the start, you just die. If you try, like, getting down here and staying. Oh, washing machines. Cool. Ah, shoot! I think that was Malfaz. <laughs> Gosh dang, that got me good. I cross! Wait, was I bleeding? What the heck? What is this? My beloved Gary, alas, the mask is already stained with blood. My blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world if you dare, Tiffany. Cool, man. Is that her face? Ah, okay. Fun. A lot of stuff going on with eyes. Probably because of 
that weird so you know that weird monster thing that appeared right at the end of chapter two the like a, that red explosion that came out of the final boss that's the unspeakable oh hello there you sack of turds sure you do what secret I mean I already confessed my sins I don't know what you're talking about here hide from what be specific dude betrayer of who be specific dude who Amy I guess that's kind of sweet can that dude grab stuff like do the hands just kind of like can he still use them? Like, if he stick, did he stick his head into the dumbwaiter and grab the cross? That's Malfaz. Oh gosh! Nope. Okay, so I can partially control it. I'm pretty sure that's Alu. Now I need to head up to floor... Three? No, two. I'm taking the elevator. That now has candles in it. Do. Candles will guide me. Sweet. Now the knife has blood on it. And now the door is no longer blocked by the seal of Alu. Yeah, the knife is. Whose blood is that? Is that the demon? Because his hands were covered in blood? I'm gonna go back through here. Uh, that just automatically did that. Oh, that's a bug. Okay. Brothers and sisters, this month we will be host to a very special visitor. It is here to help prepare the way for the coming of the unspeakable. Yeah. That knows the wall on the eye. Eye on the wall. <laughs> of course, due to its special nature, it has full access to the entire building, including your apartments, bedrooms, etc. If you are lucky enough to see it, you would do well not to approach Ouch, or speak to it. Find a dark or dimly lit area and try to stay out of its way. One of you will be blessed to find it has made its home in your dwelling. Do not go down into the hole it will make, no matter whose voice you hear, you're down there. If you believe one of your fellow brothers or sisters is inside, please notify me and I will retrieve their remains in a timely manner. Also, just a reminder that rent and utilities are due by Friday. Love, Gary. Love, Gary. Okay, and then I need to go up to floor three. No, floor f Yeah, floor three. So I probably should have just head back up regularly. Probably, but I'm dumb, so whatever. So I'm willing to make a guess that this room 3A. I'm willing to bet this is the room it made its home, given the hole, and I'm guessing the many people that killed it. What's with the green dude? Huh. Interesting. Those dudes are gone now, so, uh, ba 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 bing! 
Brothers and sisters, praise the unspeakable. We have been graced with the presence of another great demon. Alu is here. I do not understand his motive, but he has put his seal over the vessel's door. This may be Tiffany's doing, but it may also be a test of our faith. Do not cease to pray. Swallow your pills. You may have twice as many as normal. Seal yourselves in with bricks and mortar. And if that so-called priest shows up, take him and eviscerate him over the altar, preferably still alive. Remember, Gary loves you. Ah. Okay. Priest cop! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> oh my gosh. That sounds like the best movie ever. I want to watch that. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going up to floor five. All right. Five A. In I go. Yay. I had to figure out 50 puzzles. Oh no, it's Alu, I think. Okay, now I need to stay away from Lisa, cause a funny thing. Oh gosh, there it is! Die, die, die! Die, 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 die! No! Okay. Oh no. So and remember when it said like have if you have a susceptible soul, fight it, John. See, I can I'm so regularly it would just head straight for like if you don't touch anything, he just starts walking towards her. And if he gets to her, he kills her. So Yay. No 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 get the flip away from me! I'm fighting it! Laser run! Oh gosh, okay. Phew. Yeah, stay there, Lisa. Please. Okay. Don't go around there, that's perfect. Just stay right there, Lisa. Right there. Perfect. You're doing great, Lisa! Mm. Oh gosh! Bye, Alu. Lisa, are you okay? How are you? Immediately gets a secret. <laughs> Okay. I'm amazed that you seem perfectly fine after what just happened. I sense another demonic seal was broken somewhere beyond. Nice. Okay, so one... 
the secret boss here. So there, technically there is no floor 7. If you try going past floor 6 or floor 8, it says there is no floor 7. But also if you go try getting there from floor 8, it says there is a 7th floor. And if you try pressing the button, this happens. But if you press it enough times... Eventually... Ah, gosh! Okay, there. Oh no, I need to- OH SHOOT! Oh, that scared the crap out of me! Anyway, uh, floor... 6, I think I need to go to? Yeah, that's the thing I just saw in the... Okay, perfect. Elevator friend! Timmy. Okay, so if you look at the bottom, there's Roman numerals, so... 1, 4, 2, 6... I'm just gonna do this. Oh gosh dang it. Oh, there he is. So you need to ward him off enough times. Time to go. That thing is creepy, dude. I hate it. No, I missed it. I keep hearing stuff. I hate it. I'm flipping scared. Very flipping scared. All right. Nudge the chair back, and then. Hi. I'm gonna need. Are you Timmy? Or Time to go! <laughs> I hate that. So much. No! Oh shoot, okay. Screw you! I'm gonna go this way. It's closer. Hey, dude! Gotcha! Time to play an elevator game! Okay, Timmy again. Okay, so 2, 10, 5, 1. I forgot what the first four digits were. Let me, uh... I know this is a note, so... So I finally have my own place in the city. No more annoying roommates, I have a whole apartment all to myself. The building's nice, it seems new. Ooh. Neighbors are kind of weird though. They're always coming around bringing food and stuff. It's actually making me a little sick. Another thing is the mirrors, they're everywhere. In the halls, it's nice because I can look around corners, which makes me feel safe, but it's still weird. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but when I look to my self in at myself in those mirrors, I feel like it's not me in the reflection. Of course, when I came home from work today, the elevator didn't work, so I had to take the weird one-way stairs all the way up to the sixth floor. Then I noticed all the mirrors were shattered. Interesting. Okay, so I need to go back to the elevator. Okay, what was the code? Notes. Um. Okay, so one four two six two ten five one. One four two six two ten five one. One. one.
four. This is going to take a minute. Bear with me here. I want to try and make... Maybe I will cut it up a little for this bit. I don't know. I want this to be a minimally edited video. Two. Son of a monkey. I moved and my shirt made a noise or something. Um, six. Two. forever five imagine if I did it wrong I'd be so pissed off if I did it wrong may notice now it's taking me to floor nine that means I did it right oh no Timmy what the heck Okay, that's kind of cool. Well, cool. Um, I'm gonna fall. I guess I go this way. Oh, okay. Um, secret boss time. Secret boss, Tiffany. Oh gosh. Well, um, okay, cool. How close? Are you able to? Oh gosh. Ah! Okay, oh gosh, it's bouncing. I hate you. You're weird. Ow. 
I will not die. I will endure. Three times the charm. Please go away. No! Shoot! It got too close! Flip! There's an achievement for beating this game without dying once while doing marathon mode. That sounds like torture. Because this game is already stupid long, and you have to get the good endings as well to get the achievement. Which I'm trying to do, just get the good endings. Gosh dang it. Okay, so sometimes it'll bounce, sometimes it'll just shake rapidly. I love the music, though. It's pretty good. Sick boss music. Oh, shoot! Oh, gosh! Where? What? Where am I? Where is the edge? Gosh dang it. I beat this guy first time when I tried it. Actually, I don't know. I don't remember if I beat him first try or not. Imagine it didn't take this long, though. Screw you. Yes! Oh, perfect. Run away. Yes. Oh shoot. Please piss off. Yes. How many times do you have to do this? Oh shoot. At least it's fair. <gasps> oh gosh, yes! That scared me! Sorry, Tiffany. Bye. Nope! Gotcha! Imagine dying to that. That'd be hilarious. I wonder if it checkpoints you, because that'd be really mean if it didn't checkpoint you after that. Well done, pri well done, priest. You wasted another day aiding a worthless soul, and you got rid of Tiffany for me. Are you sure you know whose side you're on? We'll find out soon enough. Remember, Gary loves you. All right. Oh, now I can go to floor seven. Right. Which I guess I might as well do. Demnito Memori. Okay. Jump down the elevator. I'm in floor nine, so now I'd be around floor seven. I'm in floor seven. Sick. 7A. Oh 
Okay. You promised me so much. I just want to see my little boy again. The replacement is almost fully formed. Just a few more bodies. Oh gosh. What the heck? Gross. Is, is 7B locked? I'm pretty sure I can't. I don't think I can go in 7B. No, I can't. Okay. Well. To floor one, because I'm leaving. I have did all my duties. Now to leave. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Leave, yes. Dang it, I saw the light in the window, open window, not open window, but on the window reflection. Nice. It scared me. Man. Save her. Right, back to this. Wow, it's been a while. Hi. Okay, never mind. Bye. Hi. Never. Bye again. Oh, man. Mr. and Mrs. Martin? Hello? Oh, no, please don't tell me the audio broke. Actually, it's fine if it did. I can, um, restart it. Hello? You're here at last, priest. Gosh dang it, the audio broke! Well, it's fine, we know what they look like. Just read it. Gosh dang it, that's stupid that it broke. October 39, one. And October 30th, one day, okay. Man, I'm pissed off. I'm really angry. Is there anything up here? No, okay. John, I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behavior at the daycare center on 4th Street. If Nate and Jason are there, then you can bet that it Bet that is the place where they will try to summon Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what's really going on. Fear not. Vea con Dios, Father Garcia. Yes, leave. Gosh, I'm so pissed off that that didn't work. Whatever, It'll, I'll get over it. Do, 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 do. 
Oh my gosh! What? Okay. A riddle, priest. How do you make a portal to hell? Come see me and I'll show you. Please don't. I would like not that, please. The tunnel awaits. Ben. Okay. Gary loves us. No! Are you flipping with me again? The audio went out? Whatever, I'll read this. Mother Moon watcheth her little ones behind a door of sleep. Daughter's chalice is filled, is filled an offering to the master in the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The vault fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you who are lost. Okay, well now I need to exit again. Okay. I'm back. So that's a red star. So I know you have to uh, read it again. Yeah. Okay, so here's something you can do. Ba -ba 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 -boop. Okay, so now that's red. Let's see. Cool. Mason H6. Orange moon. Got it. Wait, what happens if I go out of here? Wait, no! <laughs> oh, no! Ultra Mortis! <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> this is a cross, you idiot! Alright, so. Orange Moon. That's red. Not orange, you idiot. Red Star. And then. Haley, what the heck? Is that the unspeakable? Uncle Earl. Tyler, age seven. What the heck? The pink cup, okay. Max, age five. Oh, okay. Our family, oh gosh. Omar, age five. Hey look, orange moon again. RC, age seven. Cool robot. And that's definitely the unspeakable. Sarah, age four. Gosh dang. Thanks, Satan. Oh, gosh. Age five. Who? Chase, age five. Okay. Wow. Holy crap. And that thing just leaves, apparently. Ellie, age four. Bluebird. Okay. Welcome, children. Okay. I don't feel very welcome. Oh gosh, I gotta do a mulligan. Oh, there. This is where it lives. Okay. Oh! There's a bunch of cultists? If you are reading this, then congratulations! You are on your way to experiencing the wonders of our unspeakable future under the guidance of Gary. 
Gary, our brother. Gary, our friend. Gary, a normal human being just like you and me. As a tier one acolyte, you are just beginning your unspeakable journey to eventually see what Gary sees and prove yourself worthy to be a vessel fit to experience the second death reserved for only the most worthy. To find out if you are a vessel, I'll remember to attend meetings of the Eternal Order of the Second Death twice a week. Follow Gary's instructions exactly, be honest with him, and all that you do, do not ever ask what is behind the door in the basement of the clinic. <laughs> um, what are those, the alarm, si silent alarm system? Bing! Is that triggering it? She consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to walk as husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing Gary's mom is the bad guy from the second chapter? The nun demon thing that turned into the unspeakable? Oh gosh. Oh my, I hate you. normal. Sweet. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Gaze upon the magnificence of Lepieta Corota. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of the order receiving the second death in the loving ace of Etmater. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous patronage of the save family we invite everyone to reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest I hate that sound saves yay if you're ringing this congratulations you have officially been granted tier 2 status in the eternal order of the second death upon crossing the threshold from tier 1 to tier 2 your life as an acolyte will change dramatically you may start noticing shadowy figures in the corners of rooms or experience feelings of lost time when holding sharp objects. Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor and walls of your home. Animals will no longer trust you. You may emit a foul odor that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. These are just a few of the marvelous blessings that await you in this new stage of life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your journey towards becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to new levels of knowledge and power. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your tithes to the order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Gary loves you. Okay. Oh, shoot! The second death. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with this, because, like, it, like, there's all these things you can do with the puzzle, but really all your, your, you can't actually beat this, at least I don't think you can beat this puzzle. Maybe you can, but I don't think so. You just, like, light all three of these up and then go back. Then go back. And go back again. Ah! Ah, it's Gary! Oh no! Oh gosh. Is that me and Lily? Or Lisa?
weird. Man, did he give me LSD? Oh! Oh gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh! No! Oh gosh! There's the unspeakable. What the heck is happening? Is this what'll happen if the second death happens? Now you are ready. Oh gosh. Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh! Okay. You're down? No. I think so. If I had went right and I, I would have just went up to this thing. So. Oh my! This dude's still alive. Are these children? Please don't tell me these are like all the orphans. The orphans! Please don't tell me that's them. Deliver two into Moloch's hands before opening his navel. Okay. Bing. Filthy Acolyte, the substance of Gary's influence flows through your veins. You are corrupted beyond repair. Your family and friends have forsaken you. There is no returning from the path you have chosen. Only Gary can save you now. Give up and fully let him into your heart and mind. If you do so, he will make you into a vessel worthy of the unspeakable. Resist and your soul will be lost forever. Welcome to Tier 3. Gary loves you. It doesn't feel like it. Miriam Bell? How are you? <laughs> Go to Estis Prima Italia. Okay. What sumos eritis to? Huh. Okay, so fun fact, this guy sucks. Um, yeah, careful around these guys, they suck. Okay. Sweet. Now she's sitting forward, I don't like that. Why is she sitting forward? Dude, I'm so scared. Oh, cool. Now before, I'm gonna go up. Dude, 
Gosh, I can hear my siblings doing crap in the other rooms and it's terrifying. These guys are caged? Okay. Mirrors? Okay. Oh no! Not this guy again. How do I fight you? I remember you, Starface. How do I kill you? Or banish you, I don't know. No, shoot! Aw, oh, dang it! Okay. Do I have the first thing at least? Yeah, okay. How do I... What the heck? Oh, I have to be in the pink! No, I don't. I'm dumb. Okay, well that was easy. Yeah, I think I have to be in the pink to do it. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. Well, I got that one. Lavis Navel. Okay. And she's turning. Okay, cool. Oh, gosh, okay. Okay, there he is. This is the final boss, um, the final secret boss at least. Although he's not very secret given you just play the game regularly to find him. Thanks for being convenient. Ah, yes, again, even more Good gosh. Don't kill me. Yay! And now, the seal has been completely broken. Yay! Gosh dang it, and then I get spit back into that thing. Fun, now save. <laughs> Alright, continue onward!
I can avoid this guy. I was about to fight him, but then I realized I can go around him, so... Let's play Red Light, Green Light. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Well, this hardly seems fair. Oh shoot! Oh! I didn't know you could do that, okay. Die, please, die, please, die, please. Okay, good. Because they just, like, eat you. They, like, munch you. If they, if they get you, they just, like, munch you up. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, <sighs> I did it. Yes! Oh, gosh, dang it, my headphones went out again! Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, uh, save. And exit again. Time to put these away. Ploop. Ploop. And then once both of those are... Gosh, dang that door. Okay. Cool. Master of Spirits, the body of the mother state is suspended beneath the crucible of the profane Sabbath. If thou canst unlock the final secret of the crucible, know ye this. The cross hath the power to weaken the mother, but only someone who is ablaze with purifying fire canst truly destroy it. Canst truly destroy her. If thou canst understand these words, thou shalt know the true cost of thy faith. Okay. That's unfortunate. That's weird. You are now a tier 4 acolyte. You have descended beyond everything that could possibly save you. Your words are not your own. Your actions are not your own. You belong body and spirit to Gary. Your face itches for the warm embrace of the ritual mask. You long for the blinding pain of the knife. You truly ye are Gary's chosen vessel. Fear not, only a little longer, and you will experience the second death. Adios, Alma Perdita. Gary loves you. Partake of the dark. Okay. Am I in a race against darkness? What the heck? Scared. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I can't see. Lantern, yay. I hate that. What is that? Oh, hi, weird Amy thing. What are you? What the heck? Hi, Crow. Can you not? I'm kind of busy right now with uh, dealing with that horrible noise. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of Amy creature. Um. Shoot. <laughs> I don't want to be scared anymore. <laughs> Hi.
Oh gosh. Hi. Oh, my neck. Oh, okay. Let's go this way. Hi? Person? What the heck? Oh gosh, no! No, please. Head straight down. Hi. I don't know what you are. Are you a person? Are you more orphans? Okay. Anyway. Bye. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, shoot, there's a thing coming after me just then. Oh gosh, that's a lot of good, bad things. Hi. If I go straight up, I can go to the door right now, but there's one more thing I need to do. This one's a fun little Easter egg, I think. I don't know, I think it gives some lore, but it's mostly an Easter egg. Oh, the shed, cool. So, at first I thought that green guy was the, like, green guy we saw dead in the hotel or the apartment complex, but I guess not. But uh, these guys, so the middle one's Gary, and then the other two are like bad guys from other games, which is pretty cool. From New Blood. So that's pretty cool. My dearest colleague Jacob, thank you for the letter. I am delighted to hear of the success of your venture in Pennsylvania. However, it was not enough to persuade me to join your cause. I have no interest in crumbling ghost towns, nor government experiments, nor the gibbering behemoths that lurk shamefully in the darkness between the world. Old such matters are not worthy of my expertise. My- Oh, flip off! It went out again. My methods may be more delicate than yours, but I assure you they were given to me straight from the source. The Antichrist will step forth very soon. The second death will consume this world, this pitiful fleshy sphere still in its infancy yet everlastingly too late to redeem. When the time comes, I hope we may reunite as co as cohorts, albeit not as equals. Love always, Gary. P.S. I almost forgot to thank you for the pet. I will keep it outside my private quarters as a guard against intruders. Cool. Um, and by pet, he means this freaky thing right here. Anyway, I'm going to go to the door, and then as soon as I see a save bar, I'm going to reset again. This is flipping stupid.
Oh, good, it saves. Okay, I went through the door. Oh gosh. Sometimes it waits for someone who has already won through it. Oh gosh, no. Sometimes it opens itself in the deepest, darkest room where nobody can find it. Oh, hey, twins that are totally real. Hi, Gary. Nice to meet you, too. Lord, help me. Somebody please help me. This is too much for me. I'm so afraid. Please let me escape this place. I just want to go home. I'll do whatever you want. Just take me away from here. I swear it. October 31st, 1987, the Profane Sabbath. My name is Gary Miller. So you're the one behind all this. In the name of the Lord, I demand to know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Sunglasses, cool. Well, you have come this far. I suppose you deserve some answers. Fine, you get three questions, but no more. Gary. <laughs> Me? I am a normal human being. Just like you. My mission is to prepare this world for the Antichrist. To do this, I give the second death to my chosen people. Malthus. Another spirit preparing the way for the Antichrist. The two of us together must fulfill the profane Sabbath. Oh, do not fret. Malthus has already been summoned to this plan. <laughs> Did you really think you could prevent his arrival? Second man. A simple procedure once the vessel is prepared. First, we carve out their face with the ritual knife. Then we pass a living group orb through the opening, and wait for a response. And that, God, is how you make a portal to hell. Are we done chatting? 
Spiders? <laughs> Why is that so funny? Oh gosh, that one almost got me. No, oh, not Je not Jeffrey. Okay. At least the reign of spiders is very forgiving. Oh, not the baby thing. No! Okay. Gotcha! Oh gosh, no! Oh, come on! And now I have no face. Mortis cool. On guard, yes. Boss fight! Oh no, not those two. Shoot! Okay. Oh no! Oh, I got him. Oh! Oh my gosh! Gauge crucifix. <laughs> So, fun fact, if you don't defeat all three of the, like, secret bosses, then you can't get this, and you can't go in there, and then, um, you just get, like, the mediocre ending. March 18th, 1934. Whoa. Miriam is ready. We will perform the ritual according to her instructions tonight. March 19th, 1934. We successfully gave the second death to Miriam. We have been passing living newborns through the newly made portal as quickly as we can, but and get them. So far, there has been no a response from the other side. March 23rd, 1934. After several days of sacrifices, we finally got a response. A tiny hand reached out from the portal. We took the hand and pulled out a baby boy. It appears to be a normal human baby, just like you and me. We named it Gary. Interesting. 
Gary loves you. Gary's a normal human being just like you and me. Okay, so that was the only... Those are the only two notes. If you try and explore the house, you just find more of that note. Gary loves you. Gary's a normal human being just like you and me. Miriam Bell? dare you oh gosh this boss fight sucks this is actually really hard uh I hate you oh the music's bop pretty good though say that man Man, I'm getting close. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh gosh, don't, don't get hit. That attack's easy to dodge, unless you're dumb, like me. Then you might get hit by it. Oh shoot! Oh shoot, okay. Okay, there's Malthus! Here to ruin my life! Okay! Oh shoot, oh shoot! Oh, no, that's a good one! Oh gosh! Okay, I'm good. Please don't! Okay. Please, 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 okay. Yes! Congratulations! Nope! Oh gosh. Nope. Gosh dang it! How close do I have to be? Holy crap. No! Oh. My, uh, uh, take this cup from me. This abomination's power is too great. Oh, and yet it is not the end. Dang it, I got hit.
So I think if you get hit ten times, then it restarts. Not at the Gary does not love you part, just this this part of the boss fight. It resets you if you die, if you get hit ten times. So it's very forgiving. Oh gosh, please no. Oh, sick, I dodged that for once. I never dodged that. Hi. Gosh dang it. Oh dang it. Perhaps some divine intervention at last. Dang it. Yes lord, I feel thou art with me. Yes, 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 yes! Yes, that was it! That's the end of Miriam and Malthus. Gary's still sitting there. Hey, Amy! Oh man, that's the end of Gary. Please don't kill me. Oh. Amy, I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. Amen. Hey, Father Gazia. Lisa, 
Teresa or Garcia? Garcia! Let's go fight some demon. Heck yes. Sequel, 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 sequel. Is there gonna be a sequel? Because they tease that with the fact that the unspeakable, the big weird tentacle monster thing with one eye, hand monster, they tease, like, that that's still out there and they have to hunt it down. So if they make it Faith 2, that would be awesome! That would be so cool! Like, really cool! Anyway, what a cool game. I wonder what happens if Lisa dies. Like, if you get Lisa killed. That'd be interesting. Huh. Because in the, in like the normal ending, I guess, the, um, depending, I think depending on whether Lisa lives or dies, um, the normal ending will change. It doesn't have that option thing like that. But it'll change depending on whether she lives or dies, I think. <laughs> Ending 2. A new journey. Heck yeah! The end. Nice music, and someone's crying, and I need to go check if they're okay, they're fine. I just hit one of the others. Anyway. This game's awesome. This is probably my favorite game ever. I'm willing to say that this is my favorite game. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. That's it. Thank you all so much for watching me play this game all the way through. I don't know what more to say.